Numbers 28. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, My offering, and my bread for my sacrifices made by fire for a sweet savour unto me, shall ye observe to offer unto me in their due season. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by fire, which ye shall offer unto the Lord, two lambs of the first year without spot day by day, for a continual burnt offering. The one lamb shalt thou offer in the morning, and the other lamb shalt thou offer at even, and a tenth part of an ephah flour for a meat offering mingled with the fourth part of an hin of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering which was ordained in Mount Sinai for a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And the drink offering thereof shall be the fourth part of an hin for the one lamb. In the holy place shalt thou cause the strong wine to be poured unto the Lord for a drink offering. And the other lamb shalt thou offer at even, as the meat offering of the morning, and as the drink offering thereof. Thou shalt offer it, a sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord. And on the Sabbath day two lambs of the first year without spot, and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil, and the drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And in the beginnings of your months ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot, and three-tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil for one bullock, and two-tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil for one ram, and a several-tenth deal of flour mingled with oil for a meat offering unto one lamb, for a burnt offering of a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And their drink offerings shall be half an hin of wine unto a bullock, and the third part of an hin unto a ram, and a fourth part of an hin unto a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering unto the Lord shall be offered, beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And the fifteenth day of this month is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. In the first day shall be an holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work therein. But ye shall offer a sacrifice made by fire for a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, and seven lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil. Three tenth deals shall ye offer for a bullock, and two tenth deals for a ram. A several tenth deal shalt thou offer for every lamb throughout the seven lambs, and one goat for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer these beside the burnt offering in the morning, which is for a continual burnt offering. After this manner ye shall offer daily throughout the seven days the meat of the sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord, it shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering, and his drink offering. And on the seventh day ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work. Also in the day of the first fruits, when ye bring a new meat offering unto the Lord after your weeks be out, ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work. But ye shall offer the burnt offering for a sweet savour unto the Lord, two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs of the first year, and their meat offering of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals unto one bullock, two-tenth deals unto one ram, a several-tenth deal unto one lamb, throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats to make an atonement for you. You shall offer them beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering. They shall be unto you without blemish, and their drink offerings.